What up dudes, how's it going? Today I'm showing you how to stream your desktop computer to your mobile phone and your Insta stories using Yellow Duck and OBS and let's roll it. So I have succumbed to the Corona cut as you can see. Hopefully <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Basically, I'm gonna be splitting this tutorial up into three different sections. The first one, how to install Yellow Duck on both Windows and Mac. Then the second part is how we're gonna set up OBS settings for um, the, the app to work. And the third bit is for all my DJ subscribers. Um, I'm just gonna be talking about using Yellow Duck and streaming to Insta Stories and if it's actually worth it still in 2020 right now. So the URL is in the description. Download the app for the correct platform that you're on, i.e. Windows or Mac. Let's go through Windows first. Just get the installer, which is about 80 megabytes, download it. And once it's downloaded, double click it and uh, you have to sign in basically with your Instagram username and password. Uh, you'll get an error message saying, oops, an error has occurred. This happens every time, as far as I can tell, just re-download it and sign in again and then it will start to download everything that you need. It says about five minutes but it takes slightly less. And once you reach this screen we're ready to jump into OBS. On Mac it's pretty similar again just download it and copy all the files to your applications folder like you normally would. If you double click it and try and open the app that way you're going to get an error message because the app is unverified. This is pretty common so the way you get around this is by right clicking it and then clicking open and then um, it won't give you that error message. So again you'll have to wait for it to download. I got another sort of um, pop-up for I think it's like a system thing and I had to click install and agree to that and then it said it would take about 15 minutes to download all that stuff but it actually took way less. Obviously I've sped up the footage here um, but yeah once that's done you get to this screen again and we're ready to move into OBS. So let's do that let's jump into OBS. So as you can see OBS has already been set up and I've set up all these scenes ready for the Drop Beats radio show, which me and my buddies do every Sunday and we stream to Mixcloud Live. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check that out. If you want to see how I set all this up, check the card in the top left now, um, where I did a much more in detail tutorial on how to do it. But right now, I'm just going to show you from scratch. So I'll go to Profile, New, and I'm going to put in Yellow Duck. Same for scene collection, new, yellow, duck. Cool, so this is probably what you'll be faced with if you're starting from scratch. If not, it's pretty easy to go up here and duplicate an existing profile and scene collection and then just change that to be the same settings that I'm gonna show you here. So let's go to settings. And the first one we need to do is output. So this is actually correct. The max you can do on Yellow Duck and Instagram is 2,500. So set that to that. We can probably bump this audio bitrate up a bit. No need to go too high because we're just streaming and it's not gonna make that much difference anyway. The next thing we wanna do is go to video. And as you can see, this is 16 by nine, which is landscape. We wanna switch that around so it's 1080 by 1920, which is now portrait. That's actually much higher than the max resolution allowed on Yellow Duck and Instagram, but again, it's just gonna get downscaled, so it doesn't really matter when you're streaming. The, the quality should be good enough as it is. So we can leave that by cubic, and we can leave that at 30 FPS. So let's click apply. Okay. Right, so let's add a new source. We're gonna to go to image. Okay. Browse to my logo that I'm using. That's here. Okay. Put that in the middle, if I hold control, that'll keep it a square, kind of resize it a bit. And we wanna make it blue. So I'm gonna right click it and go to filters. Then I'm gonna add a filter here and go to user defined shader. Okay, so that's not actually normally there. This is a plugin which I've installed. Again, I'll put a card in the top left, which you can check out my top five OBS plugins. This one is called shader filter and it allows you to do cool stuff like this. So I'm just gonna add it into this, the gradient we can leave it like that and now that looks blue. Another custom plugin I use is Audio Visualizer. Let's put in one of them, okay. So right now we can't actually change the audio source because I haven't added one to this profile. So let's do that real quick. Let's go to settings, audio, and then we wanna add 
this one, change that to Sapphire Audio, which is my audio interface. Okay, that's popped up here, and now I can change the settings here to mic aux, and as you can see, that's reacting to my voice. Cool, let's resize that a bit, make it nice and big. And I'm gonna copy and paste that. Take the duplicate and flip it. Let's go right click, transform, rotate 180 degrees, pop it there. So yeah, that's set up in OBS. So now we need to go back to Yellow Duck here and we need to copy this URL here. You can click here, that's copied it to the clipboard. We go to settings, we chuck this in the stream here. So you wanna be on custom, which I already am. And then you can see I've already pasted it in there, but let's just paste that in again. We go back to here and we need to copy this stream key and we pop it in here, click apply. Okay, now if we click start streaming, we've got the green light and it's working. So you may have to do that twice. Like when I first did that for the first time, it didn't work and I had to go back into um, Yellow Duck, restart it, get a new one. It was kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. So let's check to see if this is streaming. We go to Instagram. So I'm on my own account. So I need to log out of that and log into my other account, which is this one. And then I should be able to check to see if I go to Cy Hargreaves, you can see that I am live. Let's click that, see what it looks like. Boom, there we go. We can see that that is streaming. And yeah, there's that luggy. Oh. Okay, we can actually hear myself. That's a bit embarrassing. You can see how much lag there is there. So it's about like 20 seconds or something like that, I would guess, um, which isn't too bad when you think about it. Uh, you don't, you, you know, you're gonna be able to comment to people in real time with that. So I think that is okay. That is how you set it up in OBS. God, I need to set up. I always slouch down and it looks weird. Let's talk about number three. And that is for my DJs, is it even worth streaming to Instagram? We're still faced with the same problems that we were, you know, at the, the start of lockdown. Basically, DJ D Nice, I think that's his name, he did this live stream and it gave all the DJs around the world like all this hope that Instagram was going to be this amazing platform for streaming because he was streaming, he got all these millions of people watching him, and he got all these celebrities, and everyone was like, you know, wow, wow, this is the future. Like, we can all just stream on Instagram and it's going to be amazing. But what they didn't tell you is they had kind of gone in and sorted out everything with the rec the record labels specifically. So they'd, all the songs he was going to play, they had already cleared them with, um, with all the labels and the publishers and they basically got permission to play those. So it's not the same as when you stream to Instagram because obviously you're not going to have that. So these are the Facebook community guidelines and they put these out kind of recently in regards to streaming music because of um, the lockdown and things like that. And these are the things which they say. There are no limits on things such as music in stories or traditional music performances, e.g. filming a live artist or a band performing. So that's not gonna trigger the algorithm, obviously, because it's the, the waveforms are gonna be different. Um, the greater the number of full length recorded tracks in a video, the more likely it may be limited i.e. taken down. So we're obviously playing whole sets of music and it's gonna make it more likely that the algorithm's gonna get triggered. So it's saying shorter clips are recommended. You know, if you're a quick DJ, maybe you can get away with playing music, but you know, it's just, it's a big risk still, to be honest. It also says there should be a visual component to the video and recorded audio should not be the primary purpose of the video. That's kind of up for debate for DJs, isn't it? Like whether it's, I mean, really it is about the music and you know, obviously it's cool to see the video and stuff, but really at the end of the day, it is about the music. So, you know, you may be able to get away with just mixing really quickly, talking over the songs and, and, and not getting taken down like that. But at the end of the day, it's still very likely you're gonna get taken down. So is Yellow Duck great for DJs? Oh wait, am I still streaming here? Jesus. I am. Whoops. <laughs> you know, Yellow Duck's great, and uh, you know, I think it, for people who aren't DJs, it'd be amazing to be able to stream from your computer to your your phone because you're going to be able to make everything look amazing and use a lot of the tools which you've got available to you on the computer. But you know, if you're a DJ, it's still not necessarily the platform that we're looking for. So, what are our alternatives? We've got Mixcloud Live still. That is basically, you can do it all legally. I did a video about that here. It's got slightly better since I did that video. They've managed to get the lag down a little bit, which is really good. There's 
Twitch, a lot of DJs have moved over to Twitch since lockdown and they're building up their followings there. For whatever reason, Twitch is just slightly more relaxed and they don't take people down. I guess their algorithm is not as advanced as like Facebook and Instagram. So yeah, you can get away with a lot more on there. Yo, Dubin here from the future. So I'm just dropping by to say, since filming this originally, Twitch have been dropping the copyright hammer down on DJs. They've been going in, giving people copyright strikes left, right and center for videos which have been uploaded years ago. I guess they've been contacted by the record labels or whatever and a bit of pressure has been applied to them and because of that they've and because of that they've started to come down harder on DJs. So so I just wanted to come in and say that just to let you know that maybe Twitch is the environment's changing for DJs. So you can stream to YouTube still, that's a good option. They will flag your songs for copyright but they won't necessarily take you down because they might have a deal in place with the label which means that they're going to get paid just means you can't monetize so i guess what you still want to do is probably maybe check out restream.io because that means you can take one stream and send it to lots of different places all at once so if one gets taken down it's fine There's, you're still streaming on all these other platforms and you can build your audience to all of them fairly well. I'm going to check that out and do a video on that coming up maybe just to see if, how it works and if it's worth it. I think that's $19 per month um, or slightly less if you pay yearly but you know it could be worth checking out. I think it is worth checking out to be honest. Expect a video on that in the future. So that's Yellow Duck in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. Download it, change your OBS settings to fit Instagram and the resolution and the bitrate for that and then third is well, that's it really. And the third one is, you know, is it worthwhile or not? I mean, it depends if all your followers on Instagram, you might still want to take the risk, but you might be better off using all the other platforms. Hopefully that's been useful to someone. If it has, please drop a like. If not, you know, drop a dislike, that's all good. I'm going to be doing more videos on DJing and video and everything in between, like streaming, just technology, love all that stuff. And that's it. Bye-bye.